So, you've bitten the bullet and you've got yourself a projector, but now you're looking for some immersive audio to match the cinematic visuals. Are you thinking about or maybe own a Sonos soundbar like the Arc or Beam Gen 2? Both are a great way to give your home cinema an immediate boost, but how do you connect the two? Let's get into it. Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds, and I know what you're thinking. Connecting up a soundbar should be easy, right? Well, if you've ever tried to connect one up to a projector, then you'll know it's a little bit more complicated than the plug and play experience that we're used to with a standard TV. Now, although it does take a little bit more wiring, it is possible, and if I'm honest, it's definitely worthwhile if you're after the ultimate home cinema experience. So how do you go about it then? Well, how difficult this will be all depends on the connections on your projector and what sort of experience that you're looking to get from your home cinema. Are you looking for Dolby Digital 5.1 or are you after complete Dolby Atmos? Are you looking to hook up a single source like an Apple TV or streaming box or do you want the flexibility to switch between multiple sources without having to leave the sofa? Now what you're after will change what you need and there's definitely no one size fits all solution here but what I will do is my very best in this video to strip back the technical jargon and make this as easy as possible for you to find the solution that's right for you and for your space. As you'll probably already know by now, Sonos's Dolby Atmos soundbars have what's called an HDMI ARC eARC output, and these are basically special audio return connections that pass dedicated audio information from your display to your soundbar. HDMI ARC is your standard audio return channel that will support codecs like Dolby Digital and things like that, whereas eARC is an enhanced version that supports higher audio resolutions and that's more audio channels, so that's your complete 7.1 Dolby Atmos. You'll also have heard about optical. Again, this is a more traditional way to connect audio devices and it doesn't have the same capabilities as HDMI ARC eARC, but it's still good enough for older devices. So that's the connections out of the way. Now the fact of the matter is, unlike TVs that receive video and audio in one feed from your streaming service or media player, a projector solely focuses on display and video. And therefore, a lot of projectors only feature HDMI video inputs for receiving visual sources like your Apple TV, games console, and those sorts of things. They don't necessarily have an HDMI ARC or eARC connection for sending audio out to a receiving soundbar. Obviously, there are models out there that buck the trend, like the Samsung Premier LSP9T, for example. And if your projector does feature either an HDMI ARC or eARC port, which will look a little bit like this, then you're in luck. You can wire directly to your Sonos Beam or Sonos Arc, no questions asked, and you can skip the rest of this video. Now, if your projector has an optical connection instead, you're in a pretty similar boat. You'll just need to use the HDMI to optical adapter, which you get with your soundbar. It just simply clips onto the end of your HDMI cable and will ensure that you can effortlessly connect up to your optical port on your projector. Now, it's worth knowing using HDMI arc or optical will limit your capabilities to achieve Dolby Atmos, and instead, you'll only be able to achieve Dolby Digital 5.1. Now, no, that's not going to be the end of the world for everybody because Dolby Digital is still a massive improvement on standard audio and will be great for sports and things where Atmos is a little less prominent, but it is something to bear in mind nonetheless. Now, if none of those options sounded quite like you or you want more than one source connected to your projector at a time, don't stress. It's still possible to get your soundbar hooked up. Unfortunately though, there's just a few more hoops that you'll need to jump through first. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of projectors available today only feature HDMI video inputs for receiving a video source, and there's nothing for sending audio out to a soundbar. Instead, what you're gonna need is a nifty little device called an HDMI matrix switch to split the video and audio feeds from your source to your projector and soundbar. Now, the best way to explain what this does is to think of it a little bit like a traffic controller for all of your devices at a busy junction. It lets you control the flow of video and audio signals from many different sources, like your Fire Stick, Games Console, and Blu-ray player, for example, and send those signals to your respective outputs, so your soundbar and projector, as and when you need them. Now there's a load of different matrix switches on the market that will do the job, so it is worth having a look around for what's right for you. Now all you need to remember is that it must have an audio outlet in the form of either an HDMI ARC or eARC connection or an optical output, but again, you'll need the HDMI to optical adapter as well with that one. To make things really simple, I've been using this one that I found on Amazon for around about hundred pounds so that does the job perfectly for me and I'll drop the link to that one in the description below. But essentially it can handle four different sources, which is perfect and will enable 5.1 surround sound. Again, not complete 7.1 Dolby Atmos, but for all the reasons I mentioned before, will be plenty good enough for most people. Now in terms of getting this set up, it's really easy. First, just plug your HDMI video feed 
feeds into the HDMI inputs of your matrix switch. Then you'll want to connect the main video output of the matrix to your projector's primary video input. And then finally, just use the provided HDMI cable with the Sonos Arc and Sonos Beam to connect the matrix's HDMI Arc output to the input of your Sonos soundbar and voila. So what about Dolby Atmos then? Well, because of the extra information in Dolby Atmos audio feeds, the Sonos Arc and Beam Gen 2 require the latest HDMI eARC connections in order to produce Atmos. However, what you'll find is that most standard matrixes or projectors for that matter only support optical or HDMI eARC connection, meaning that you'll only be getting Dolby Digital. Now there is a little workaround, but it will require dipping into your pocket again, which might not be for everyone, but it's worth knowing about it for sure. So what you need to do is get your hands on what's called a HD Fury Arcana. Again, links to the one that I've been using will be down below. This clever gadget essentially has one HDMI input, which would be your video source like your Apple TV, and this splits that into two outputs. So one is dedicated to your audio, which is capable of handling eARC, and the second is dedicated to your video, which will go straight to your projector. Now, this would probably be my preferred method as I predominantly use an Apple TV, and I'm pretty happy to swap the HDMI of my games console when I want to use it. Now, these aren't cheap by any stretch, and to be honest, by the time that you've got this deep, you might have been better off diving into the world of AVRs and things like that, but the Arcana will allow your projector to receive video while delivering Atmos encoded audio to your Sonos Arc or Sonos Beam, which is ideal if you're looking for the ultimate home cinema experience. So like I said, it won't be the solution for everybody, but for the right person, this will be perfect. Now I know that some of you guys might be a little concerned that splitting the output signal of their chosen video source between a separate display and speaker could cause some synchronization problems. But if I'm honest, I'm yet to have any real issues myself. But that being said, if you do, Sonos has got you covered and there's a couple of troubleshooting ideas that should help you out. So if your audio is ahead of your video, what you're gonna wanna do is open the settings in the Sonos app, select system and choose the room with your Sonos soundbar. Scroll down through the available options to select TV Dialog Sync and use the slider to adjust the audio delay on your Sonos soundbar and that should do the job. Now if it's the other way around and the video is ahead of the audio, what you'll want to do is number one, reset your video playback device. Number two, make sure that your projector and soundbar are running the most up-to-date firmware. And number three, check the latency settings on your projector. Now you might also need to consult your manual or contact the manufacturer if you're unsure, but again, these are rare issues to come by if you've got everything connected up correctly. It's just good to know if you ever have any issues. As always, if you're looking for a little bit more help, then feel free to get in touch with our team and they'd be more than happy to give you a hand. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on any of the products that I've mentioned in this video, then the links will all be in the description below. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.